I said to Jared, I go, what would his hockey name be? And Jared goes, Raji Babe. (laughs) (laughs) Calm Down with Aaron and Carissa is a production of iHeartRadio. The cows are eating the apples and the dogs are sitting there watching them. (gasps) Who's running the asylum? (laughs) Literally, the inmates. All of a sudden, I get no- Steve started sending me notification. Oreo's out of the gate. Oh, he's eating the, he's eating the uh, the apples, and the dogs are just watching. Oh my okay. god! And who's running this yep. podcast? Because here we are back again with the pregame. <laughs> you submit the questions. We got the answers. First question: an What you Why do last so night? Swollen. God, I'm wearing a Super Bowl sweatshirt, and I have the same hangover. I was with the Amazon crew, Aww. and they are ready. Oh, cute! Tony this year goes. Tony didn't ne- never went out with us last year. Loser. And he, this year he goes, tattoo Tony. He's got a whole sleeve of tattoos. His hair is short. And he goes, I'm going out this year. I don't know what I was thinking last year. Well, this is still up for debate whether that's a real tattoo. Okay. <laughs> my God. I don't know what's going on. But as I scroll back in my pictures, I just pulled up back and shmoosh me, shmoosh my video. I'm looking for our questions. I got Hi, it. Everyone. I'll start off first. Pre-game. It's, let's see. Okay. I can't oh. see that far. I too was, I too was partaking in the elements last night. LB here, <laughs> LB here, 68. Do you feel couples have the right to go through each other's phones as my husband Ooh, is sitting to my right? Great question. Wow. Ah. Um, okay, I'll start. Go. I don't think you should. Like, I don't know the password to Steve's phone. Like, he always just says it. It's like 12 numbers. He always says it. And he's like, it just, you can just open the phone. I'm like, I don't want to open the phone Hmm. because I actually respect him. This is new. And I don't, if, this is new. Please. I was the one setting the passcodes before. Um, I don't want to go through his phone. But, but I will say, if at any point I have like a weird feeling, which just happens in life, and maybe it's just in our head or whatever, I will say, hey, can I look at your phone? And he'd be, he'd be like, of course. So that is the boundaries for me. Like, I want to know that I always have access to it if I feel a certain mm-hmm. way, but I don't want to just be like, you know, sit, sitting there grabbing his phone because there's also conversations that like you yep. and I have. I wouldn't want him no. reading and it's not like private, but it's just like girl stuff yep. or it's just things in general. And I feel the same for him, like conversations that he has with his buddies. Like, I don't need to be reading that. Yeah. So I think that if you have to have access to, to your significant other's phone, then there's more going on there. Exactly. I kind of did back in the day, pre-marriage, check her outer but now i'm just like i don't care yeah in fact what is going on in there yeah um okay <laughs> um all right next question sorry i still don't have this pulled okay, up. okay i'm gonna get it together lj i'm again sorry you guys we're we're absolutely butchering your names here <laughs> ljm any first okay. game coverage jitters i get jitters before my first Ooh. hit for every game Oh, yeah. I have a pregame that I have to do on August 24th, Fun. and I'm already thinking about how I'm nervous for that. What and is it? two minutes of a pregame. Cool. Yeah. What game? In Philly. In Philly. I should probably Cute. know who they're playing. It's pregame. I love that. <laughs> Who's on first? Um, yeah, I always, I get a little nervous, but... It's also it's a good nervous. It's like adrenaline. It's like fun. We're back. I can't wait for Thursday nights to sit at home and watch you. That's always so much fun in our house. I love you. It's so good. Um, And now Mac Attack could watch you. He needs to behave and watch. Um, Okay. No, you you stop it right now. Aaron Aaron has some thoughts on her child, which I can't wait for this segment of what did we learn this week? It sounds like we learned a lot. Akon. Akon. I loved him. Is he still performing? Is he opening for Taylor? Yeah. Akon 11. Which God. team are you most excited? Hey, you know who is opening for Taylor? J.J. Abrams' daughter. Oh. Did you know that? That's cute. Yeah. Fun. Adorable. Great opening act. Can he uh, get Akon 11. Which team are you most excited for this season? Hmm. Ooh. I'm excited for the Jets. I just want to see how all that plays out. I want to see what goes Hard on in Denver is with tonight. Sean there. Yes, Sean. Uh, Ciara is yeah. pregnant. I, I just saw that. What? Level up, level up, level up. Um, and then uh, uh, let me see one, two step. They did. Um, yeah, I'm excited for the 49ers. How like Brock Purdy? How's that elbow like coming back in the defense? Yep. Yeah, I just I want good things for the 49ers. I'll say that. Yeah. Who else? Um, Dallas. I'm interested to see it. Green Bay. Mm. I mean, uh, a new era has dawned, and I don't know if it's going to be great. It's going to take time. I mean, they're my first game, week this? one, baby. Seven. <gasps> no shit. No Who do they play? Yeah. Uh, the Bears. Um, oh, great. 
At least you know. Oh, yeah. Outside. Lauren. Go ahead, girl. Uh, Lauren Krivik, what are some other baby names you had? Uh, Jack. Chris, it got me a J, mm-hmm. and then we turned it into Jarrett. Um, <laughs> I really loved Leo. I thought Leo was so cute. I don't think my husband was Henry. on board with that. I love Henry. I love Hank. We, Aaron and I made a list of names. We wanted old. We were going back and old looking school. up like old school names. Mm-hmm. I just think it's so cute. Which then went, it got me down a rabbit hole of names like my dad's name, Scott. Like you don't hear little kids named yeah. Scott or Bob or like Carl. Right. Like I'd have a kid just to name it Bob. Like what's Chris's <gasps> kid's name? So Bob. we were thinking of like what, you know, with hockey names, kind of the, they add a EY or I don't know, my husband's probably mm. rolling his eyes right now as he's sitting here, but like Jared is Stoli, Stoli babes, like oh, they, just the, yeah. their weird language. So my mm-hmm. Mac is middle name is for, is Roger for my grandfather, who I was super tight with, big Red Sox Celtics fan, love him. Um, and so I, for a second, my girlfriends, Jackie, Megan, were like, what if you used his first name as Roger? And so I said to Jared, I go, what would his ho- hockey name be? And Jared goes, Raji Babe. <laughs> <laughs> Raji Babe, starting lineup. Yeah. Mm. I love Mac. Mm-hmm. I wasn't, I, and did you ever reveal how that came about? I think so. Did I? We could talk about it well, on the next, or we could talk yeah. about it. But Carson Phipps, dream of yeah. the century. Mm-hmm. I want to go to Taylor yeah. Swift with her. She was sending me suggestions for horse names when I posted, I no. got this horse. Yeah, she had all sorts. Of, she asked what kind it was, and this is the name that should go with that breed, my little equestrian queen. And I go, well, you are the queen of naming things, yeah. so I'll go with your suggestion. Carissa, yeah, I've done some think. digging. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'll do some. Uh, you know who could have got us a plane? Who? That girl. I know. If she was there. Yes, she I know. I've said that to her mother today. Uh, Shelly Roar 13. How do you reset when you feel like you're drowning in uh, never ending to do list? This is a great, great question, question. Shelly, because um, so my dad. He created this. He didn't create this. He learned this thing like CNN is what it's called. It's critical need and nice. So make a list of the critical things that you have to get done. Make a list of the things that you need to get done and the things that would be nice to get done. Yep. And oh, that good. helps me comp- compartmentalize because it is. You could always find something on your list. So critical, obviously, if it needs to be done today. Yep. As long as you feel like you're checking things off, then you're not so overwhelmed. Like, oh, I'm getting nothing done. So critical, need, and nice helps me organize my to do oh list. my god, that's so you? great! I kind of feel like I need to take a beat, take a second, go work out, clear my head, refocus. That's the mm. only thing that kind of does, and then try to tackle it head on. Just start plugging away. You're very good with lists, though. Eh, does it you always mean- have a list? Oh, sorry, the Orkin man's calling, <sighs> and I just Hold got on. a text saying, "Please oh, call the other number on file." On oh no, what did you get? You want to? No, okay, got it. Okay. Um. How about I just whisper in the phone, please call the other number on file. <laughs> I, I don't even know if there is another number on file. <laughs> I just said to get off the phone. We're busy doing pregame. Uh, and Renee, oh, Renee, I'm not going to do well here. Renee Desjardins. Desjardins. That sounds like a hockey Whoa. name. Desjardins. It sounds like skincare I need. It That's does. a fantastic <laughs> name. Thoughts on the Golden Bachelor season coming up. Will you watch? Okay, I don't know, Renee, much about this. I just know that that guy does not look 70 or He's however 70? old he is. Yeah, I think I'm going to look it up right now. Oh. He is a golden fox and whatever we call it. Is that is that the phrase? I don't know, but he's, I'm going to look it up. Talk amongst yourself. Um, I, I haven't watched in a while, but, you know, sometimes I'll dabble. I just feel like on Monday nights, there's Monday night football. I just feel like with football, I just, I got too much going on. So I I'll tell you don't when think I, so. I'll tell you when I watched The Bachelor. 71. Oh, what does he do? Good good for him. Yeah. I hear the babes. He's not going to watch. He doesn't sound like he's interested. He's a demon this week. Oh, you're crazy. You are what? crazy. He is a baby. Jared just told you not to say that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he gave you this look. He just said, don't say um, that. <laughs> he's... Perfect. Um, this guy, what does he do? I don't know, but I, I'll tell you how I watch The Bachelor. I watch it on Hulu. I mm-hmm. go back. 
pick some random episodes, which this this leads to a bigger conversation in the full podcast. People think I am a sociopath. I will go straight to the end of a book. I will go straight to like the end that. of a movie. I will go straight. I, like I know that. you you hate it. I want to, you know what? Let's take this to the streets. We'll take you it to guys, the streets. Any, anyone out there? Because I don't have to, I, look, I get it. Oh, I'm so busy. No, I just don't need to go in succession. I'll watch succession, Ugh. but I'll jump around to different episodes. No. I don't. Yes. I, why do I need, I'm going to get the gist of it. Or I'm someone that needs to back up off the mic. I am also someone who has no problem jumping into a movie if we're like 30 minutes in. Like, I don't know. I'm not one of those people like, oh, did it just start? I don't care. I'll figure it out. If I don't figure it out, then I'm not smart enough or I shouldn't be watching this movie. I don't like that. It's not that, that hard. Rom-coms are not hard to figure out. I don't out. like it. Well, neither are Disney movies. Somebody, do. their mom dies in the in the beginning. Then you got to kiss to break the spell. And then See? it's good. Which is why you don't need to watch the whole thing. Because yeah. you already know the ending. I know what happens in Titanic. I don't care when I start the movie. I know. I mean, these are just facts. Great soundtrack. Okay. Yeah. Well, my heart will go on. Well, it's going to go on to our longer (laughs) form podcast, which will be dropping on Thursday. Thank you guys so much for your questions. Our album will also be dropping on Thursday. And hopefully my swollen cheeks will also be reduced by the time we have a full length podcast. The fuck. Bye. Bye, guys. Calm Down with Aaron and Carissa is a production of iHeartRadio. For more podcasts from iHeartRadio, visit the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.